in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a gratitude journal. So first we got to go to canva.com and after you join canva.com, you go to the right, you're going to go to the width and the height section, and I'm just going to put in the correct width and height. And for this one, I'm going to do 8.5 by 11. It's going to be a regular US letter size. So for the width, I'm going to put 8.625 to accommodate for the correct size, even though it's 8.5, right? But for Campbell, you got to put 8.625. And then for the height, I'm going to put 11.25, all right? So uh, it's going to be 8.625. And then you're going to put 11.25 and you're going to put inches and you're going to press create new design. Once I got this uh, document uploaded, I'm at the section where I uploaded my template. Uh, you can get this template at tangenttemplate.com or you can get this on the Kindle Direct Publishing website. And so I got the, my template going and this is just a good guide for me to see uh, where the bleed cuts off. So basically in this orange reddish area, that's where I don't put any designs on there. And I just want to stay in the borders. So first we want to put a background over this. So since this is just a template, we want to put whatever color we want to do. Typically we want to do white because that is the color that uh, we usually see for paper. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to elements and then I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to scroll down. You're going to see the square one right here. I'm going to click on it. Notice it says free. I'm using a free account right now on Canva and you can press on it and it's going to go drag into your document. Okay, so it's right here. So the square is in the middle. I'm going to drag it to the left top corner and I also want to make this white. So I'm going to change the color on the left top. Click on this color right here and then I'm going to choose white. Again, you can choose whatever color you want. If you want to do another interior color, you're more than uh, welcome to do so. But for this demonstration, I'm going to do white. I'm going to click out. After that, I'm going to drag this down. All right. So once it's dragged down, I put it over the template. And so I'm going to click on this again. And just to help me with the guidelines again, I'm just going to go to this uh, transparency option right here on the right top corner. I'm going to press on it and I'm going to drag this transparency to the left a little bit until I can just see it. So I'm going to put it around 75%. And once I'm finished with the design, I'll put it back up to 100. You definitely want to remember to put this back up because once you upload it as a book, um, this template will show. So after that, you're going to click out. All right, so let's start designing. I'm just going to go with the flow. And so I'm just going to put a sentence first for the top for the top area. So first I'm going to go to the left hand side and I'm going to press text and I'm going to press heading. Notice add a heading shows up. I'm going to drag this to the top and I'm going to type in a sentence that I want to use for the header. All right. So I put my little header right here. So it's today I am grateful for and then I'm just going to add a, a dot there. So I put my sentence right here it says today I am grateful for and I'm just gonna make sure it's in the center and as you can see when I drag it Canva does a really good job to help you with staying in the borders so um, I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. Okay after that I want to change the font style so I'm gonna go to the left side and right here it says open sans and then so I'm just gonna click on the arrow and then I'm just gonna choose what I want to pick. Okay so I chose uh, Cardu or Cardo and that's the font I'm gonna choose for this lesson and so I'm gonna start making the layout okay so first I want to make a little box area like a little outline right here so I'm gonna go to the left side I'm gonna go to elements and then uh, for the shapes I'm gonna go to the right and there's this one where there's like a little uh, outline so I'm gonna press on that one and notice this one has two colors so you can choose two different options and so I'm gonna choose the inside as white and the outline as black. So I'm going to go to the left top corner right here. I'm going to make this one white. So now that one's white. And then for this one, I'm going to choose black. All right. So this is the outline right here. And so I'm going to drag it and I'm going to position it where I want it to be. All right. So this is the little box uh, layout that I have. And then I'm just going to leave this right here. I might even drag it a little bit lower. And so I'm just going to leave that right there. All right. So after that, I want to make some sections where I put one, two, three, four, five, just to give it some lines. So where people can write uh, where the, what they're thankful for. And so I'm going to put lines right here on the left side on elements. So I'm going to press that and notice this line is kind of big. So I'm going to drag it. So notice it got a lot smaller and now I'm going to drag it. All right. So now I want to make some lines. So I'm going to go to the left side. I'm going to press text. I'm going to just click on add a heading. I'm going to drag this to the top. I'm going to choose a smaller font size. All right. And what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna make my lines by using the underscore from my keyboard. All right, so I did underscore and I just uh, repeatedly press that button and then I'm just gonna drag this over and there's my line. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a number on the left side. So I'm gonna go to the left side again. I'm gonna go to add a heading. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna press one. Same thing again, go to the top and then choose your font size. All right, so there's my number and there's my line. And so all I wanna do is repeat this process. I wanna put two, three, four, five. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I put one, two, three, four, five. So there's five spots where people can write what they're thankful for. And now I'm just gonna try out filling in the rest of the areas right here on the lower bottom areas. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to text again and I'm gonna press in a header. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write in uh, another section. All right, so I wrote out my sentence right here. I put my goal to live a life of gratitude today is and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two sections. I'm gonna do one on the left side. I'm gonna do one on the right side. So I wanna choose the correct font. So I'm gonna go to the top left corner, back to the top. I'm gonna choose Cardo or Cardo. I'm gonna align this on the top to the left. All right, it looks kind of small. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna do 14. That looks great to me. All right, so I, put, I aligned this to the left side. So I'm just gonna put some lines again. So I'm gonna go to the left side, I'm gonna go to add a heading, and I'm gonna press underscore. And this is uh, the underscore that I did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the font size again. So I'm gonna go to the top and choose the font size I wanna do. Now you notice it's a little bit smaller. All right, so I put my goal of gratitude today is, and then I put the lines on the left side at the bottom so people can write. And then for the right side, I'm gonna put a little section right here just for note taking. So it's just gonna be a blank spot. So on the left, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to elements. I'm gonna go to the outline one, which is this one, I believe. And then I'm just gonna drag that and change the colors. All right, so I put the little outline right here and I also put notes. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna actually touch up this uh, quite a bit. I got the layout done, uh, but this is not exactly what I wanted to make it look like. So I'm just gonna work on it a little bit and just come back. All right, so I did a quite a few changes uh, just to give it a little touch up. So first you may have noticed on the left bottom corner, I just took it out because I just thought it looked better all overall. Basically, I just duplicated the, the box. And the other thing I did was too, was I made sure to make all the fonts correct. So everything is Cardu, so this one's Cardu. And I made it font 10 size. And at the very top on the right hand side, I made the dates with these boxes. So just to give it a little bit more uh, design friendly look. And of course I changed the font size of this as well. So all this to say that when you are done with the layout, you just wanna make sure to just take a good glance at it and just see what you like and what you don't like. So I made a lot of new changes and so and I'm really liking this design once you are done designing you kind of want to go back and just look at it see what you like when you don't like and just correct it we can't forget we have to change the background so we're gonna go click on the right top corner and then we're gonna change the transparency we're gonna drag it all the way to the right and now it's finished so I want to make sure that I want to duplicate these pages to about 100 pages what I'm gonna do I'm gonna press this button right here and I'm just gonna duplicate them so I made 100 pages, so I'm gonna to go to the right top corner. I'm gonna press download. I'm gonna choose PDF print, and I'm just gonna download it. 